more and more reactors are popping up. They see the cash, and in the end, they are taking away your views, depending on what you decide on the 22nd. We'll determine what direction your channel will go. What's happening on the 22nd? I don't understand. Is there, like, some kind of, like, major event that I should be aware of, VI Peasant, or something? I don't understand. <clears throat> like, what's happening on the 22nd? BBJ's vet visit. So, people are waiting to see if I, what, euthanize my cat, which is none of their business? Like, are you serious? Didn't FFG euthanize her dog? Answer that, yes or no. Did FFG euthanize her two dogs? <coughs> Nobody has a right to tell me I'm bringing her... Oh, I'll recover, don't worry. I'm bringing my cat to the vet, and if the vet tells me she should be put down, I'm going to euthanize my cat. And there's nothing... Like, there should be no qualms about it. It's a thing. Why are you villainizing when the vet would say, like, really? So she did euthanize her dogs. So why is she not getting the same energy that I get with my cat? When you didn't see how she took care of her pets at all. Um, you think her dogs were sick and stopped eating. You think. So you don't know, right? You don't know. You think. You think. So her second dog was put down. Why? I heard it was for anxiety. Girl, nobody puts a dog down for anxiety. There's no vet in the world who would put down a dog for anxiety. You are the dumbest person walking this fucking planet Earth. And I'll tell you exactly where that narrative came from. It came from the attic. So if you're stupid enough to listen to the attic, girl, don't try and pass it off as gospel. You're so if anybody supports FFG... But over there and is villainizing me and Gorwald for putting my sick cat, elderly cat down if it needs to happen, can shove it. And you can unsubscribe. I don't care. <laughs> like, really, really. I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm taking responsibility for my pets and that's it. I'm not just bringing them to the Humane Society and I'm not just going to give her away to somebody when it's not appropriate. What's the plan if BBJ is good to rehome? Well, then I will rehome her. <laughs> like, I already said many times that I know somebody in the family who was going to take care of the cats. One, like they have to go to different homes, but I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't even like to talk about it with people like, because this is the thing, it's not anyone's business. Like, like if she has to get put down, I live with her every day. I hear her deteriorating. I hear her freaking out in the middle of the night. I see her stumbling around. I see her like not acting the same. So I have to bring all these things up to the vet and we'll see. Pe so many people are worried about my pet. Get your own cat to worry about. Like, I don't understand it. Like, literally, again, if you are supporting FFG who put, who euthanized her pets, you have nothing to say about my pets being euthanized. BBJ is literally 21. She is very old. She, like, she's definitely not the same as she was. So they're going to evaluate her quality of life. What kind of quality of life does she have? What kind of quality of life is she going to have? Um, you know, like, is, is there medically wrong, things wrong with her that, you know, that would be passed on to someone else. Like, there's a lot of things to consider. You're acting like I'm just, people are villainizing me. Like, I'm just like, okay, BBJ, I want to get rid of you. That's not what's happening. Because if that's what was happening, I would have taken her a lot sooner to get put down, wouldn't I? No. So there you go. Yeah, I mean, so if you are okay with her euthanizing her dog, then, you know, you see BBJ for like five minutes. <laughs> like, seriously. VI peasant? Yes, people are supporting her, accusing me of being a bad pet owner for euthanizing my pets. That's what I'm saying. But they'll support her when she did the same thing. So it's not talking about my about her uh, dogs. It's her showing her that she's it's showing that she's a hypocrite and her audience is a hypocrite. Okay, thank you. So if that's what people are waiting for, the twenty seconds then just leave now because it's not up to you. It's not up to you. If you're like only here dependent on like, number one, I'm doing nothing wrong. So you're villainizing me for something that's not even immoral. Like, why are you even upset that I'm doing something that is good for BBJ? Like, I don't understand. People are so whacked. I'm not, okay, Judy, goodbye. Discarding them like they're trash. Is that what I'm doing? No. So this is why people who accuse me of that can be blocked, goodbye. Yeah, I'm not going to let her suffer. Like, even when I called the vet to make the appointment, they're like, oh my gosh, she's so old, you know? And like, yeah, being old doesn't automatically mean that. Yeah, she has, she definitely has health problems. I can tell just by like how she was before. And I'm not talking about BBJ 
at all. I might let people know what happens to her, but after that, if you shame me for my decisions, I will just block you and ignore you. Like, I am just completely over researching what people are saying about me. Who cares? You know? Anything. This is not even about the cats. Nobody gives a shit about BBJ. Nobody gives a crap about the cats. It's all about drama for more views because you have nothing else to talk about. Don't give them the pleasure about speaking about the cats. Yeah. I don't even know if... I think, you know what? I'm just not going to let people know what happens. Even Beezers. You know what? If you're a real Beezer, just accept. Yeah, babe. Like, you're not going to know. You're never going to know if BBJ got euthanized or if she gets put in a home. So, you know what? But if this possibility hurts your feelings, then leave now. Unsubscribe. Bye. Thank you. It's not your decision. All right. Thank you. Well, then by that token, FFG is a murderer too because she murdered her dogs then because she euthanized her dogs and I didn't even do anything yet. So FFG is a dog murderer. By that logic, by your logic, the person who sent that super chat, FFG is a murderer because she euthanized her dogs. Are you brainless? Yeah, you are. But most of her followers are. <laughs> just ignore these stupid people. I know, they're just ridiculous. Like, do you have no life? You're just waiting around for me to talk, open the subject, and then they all come out of the wildfire like freaking cockroaches. Keeping it off the internet is best. Exactly. So if you ask me about BBJ, I will just block you from now on, period. Even after the 22nd, I don't care. Think what you want. If you want to think BBJ is in a sweet valley somewhere, whatever. It's not your cat. It's not your business. FFG dog murderer. Yep, you you, you murdered your dogs, FFG. <laughs> You murdered your dogs. You're one dog you euthanized. Murder, according to your fans who say that I'm a murderer because I'm gonna because I might possibly euthanize BBJ. So you're a dog murderer too on your name. There you go. Personally, whatever. I don't care if she euthanized her dogs. That's her decision as a pet owner. If she had reason to do it, fine. But by that logic, by that logic of her own audience and her own fans who are villainizing me for the same thing. Your cult leader is a dog killer. She euthanized both of her dogs. So what? So, there you go. It's, a, it's hypocritical for her to come for you about a frail elderly cat. Exactly. When she's not a vet and she also euthanized her animals for a lot less. I think one was sick and the other one was grieving. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, dog murderer. Sham. <laughs> Sham. Hey, I'm just doing what people do to me, right? So there you go. Pets age and die. It sucks, but it's life, Jamie. And people literally euthanize their pets all the time, including FFG. So how is it wrong for me to look into this option as a responsible pet owner, um, having to leave the country and, and doing what's best for my 20-year-old elderly, senile, sick cat? It's none of your business. Right, exactly, babe. If they think that I'm a cat murderer and I haven't even put down BBJ, Stan, and she euthanized her dogs, so how is she any better? How is How are you not turning that same energy on her? Oh, and th the same energy with the fake marriage. My husband is material in front of you and most of my... Uh, we have a whole channel together. <laughs> We're married. Um... He's in my chat right now. But where's your man on Valentine's Day even showing a supportive, hey babe, nothing, nothing, nothing. You're a sad wannabe and that's all you will ever be. So, because you're so smug about it. So smug about what? Being, defending myself? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, mm, I should, I guess, I guess you're going to hate me forever then, Ari, because that's how I am. Um, if people, if people are wrong and I point it out, like, why does that, why do you hate me for it? Oh, yeah, yeah, because you guys don't like the truth. So you accuse me of being a liar, you deflect. Uh-huh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she apparently euthanized her second pet. I heard allegedly for grieving. So please tell me why it's okay for FFG to put down her grieve grieving pet, but it's not okay for me if the vet says to put down, um, to stop her suffering from being elderly, from being, you know what I mean? Like why um, she might have kidney problems, who knows? Don't tell anyone anything, whatever your decision will be. Exactly, exactly. Hi, Vicky. I don't know how people simp for a clear hypocrite. Like, ah, ha, FFG will be like, ah, ha, ha, her marriage is fake. <laughs> her boyfriend don't love her. Where's your boyfriend? Like, wouldn't you? Wouldn't her audience think? Like, do they not have a brain to think? Um, but you've been saying you have a man for how many years? Or for how long now? And we've never even seen a trace of evidence that this person exists. But I'm expected to materialize 
so much proof when it comes to proving myself to you people. And it's not going to happen. So you can just stay mad. Stay mad. Actually, yeah, no. We're not going to prove anything, right, babe? We're not going to show them any certificates. FFG have no boyfriend at all. Nobody will even look her ugly face. <laughs> Yeah, beyond that, babe, beyond that, she's just a horrible person. She's a liar. She's a compulsive liar. And it's so weird that her, she's managed to brainwash so many people into believing her lies. Like, that she accuses uh, the Beezers of being brainwashed. Like, what? I've proven how many time and time again to be right and that you're wrong. Like, oh, I'll never go to Kuwait. Okay. Been there, done that. Not married. Been there, done that. 